Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. Today we are going to talk about capacitive touch sensors. The TTP223 is the sensor I use when I want to control my smart home devices manually. These sensors work even through other materials like wood, plastic, and many others. This makes it perfect for installing behind other thin materials to hide the sensor. Here we can see a wiring diagram showing the sensor connected to the microcontroller. Here is the parts list breakdown for this project. The links for the parts will be in the video description. And here we see the project box that has the TTP223 touch sensor inside. The sensor is very sensitive and you don't even need to touch the surface of the project box for it to register it. The sensor has an LED on it to show that it has been activated. Now I'm going to switch to my Home Assistant screen so we can see the entity as I touch the front of the project box to activate it. I am using this as a sort of emergency help button when someone needs assistance. As you saw the LED blinked, indicating that it was triggered. You can use this to trigger a script in Home Assistant to trigger any already made automations such as have Google tell you when the button has been pressed, to turning on lights, or even triggering scenes to do a series of events. This button could also be placed near a TV, for example, to activate a scene that could turn on your TV and dim your living room's lights and turn on your sound system for when you want to set the mood for movie night. The possibilities are endless. The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos and as always if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.